in this video the map built-in function in Python 3. So let's start with a look at the docs. Map takes a function argument and one or more iterable arguments. And I'll show you what this looks like in some examples I set up. So I have three examples here. And you'll notice that none of them are using Lambda. And I'm doing that on purpose because I want to make it clear what Map is doing without the kind of magic of Lambda. So we'll start with the first example. And let's just run it and see what happens. So you can see that our input was, our iterable rather, it was a list of one, two, three, four. And we have an addition function that basically adds n plus itself. And then our output was, you know, two, four, six, eight. So I can add a print if that's helpful for you. And you can see that when we run this, um, we're throwing the one into the addition function and then we're throwing the two into the addition function and then three and then four and then it just returns the numbers double and the reason we have list here in the print is just to make it a clean output otherwise you're going to get a map object so we just use list just to just so you guys have something uh, readable all right let's clean this up and let's look at our second example so for this one, I wanted to do something with a string as the argument for the iterable. And we can run this right off the bat. And you'll see that what we did is we started with a string with lowercase letters and our output was uppercase letters. So this function is basically just converting letters to upper and we can print this out and kind of see the iteration. So it iterates over one letter at a time, converts it to upper, and then we print that out. So hopefully you're getting a feel for the idea that this function in the first argument uh, is being applied against every item in the iterable. All right, let's clear this up and go on to our third argument. So here I wanted to show you what it looks like with more than one iterable. For our function, we have it such that it's accepting two arguments. And of course, we could add a third argument and a th third iterable and so on and so forth. But we'll just do one and two for now. And we can run this and check the output. You can see that what it's basically doing is adding one and 111, two and 222, so forth and so on. I'll uncomment these prints just so you can get a feel for it. So you can see that we have our one and 111, our two and our 222, so forth and so on. And then we're just returning the output there. So that's a super simple example with two iterables. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to go over today. Thanks for watching.